you know, you hear of people saying, well, they were born with a silver spoon. Well, Kevin didn't know if he was going to find a spoon, I think, because it was extremely poor. He came from a, a broken home, and he didn't have the attaboy or the cheerleaders on the side encouraging him and going on. He, he did it on his own. We had five kids in the family, and my mother was desperate to help uh, take care of the family. And my, uh, my dad, stepdad, didn't work much or at all, and we lived on government assistance. No running water, no indoor plumbing until the summer of my eighth grade. Kevin, from a little boy, was pretty serious about reaching his goals and accomplishing what he, he had set in mind. I went to work for Rockwell, people who built the space shuttle with my dream of being an astronaut. January 28th, 1986, the Challenger blew up and changed the industry forever. Maybe it was time to, to do another dream, and my other dream was to be successful in business. And so I had an opportunity to get in a franchisee program with McDonald's Corporation. That was a very humbling experience. I'd gone from working with PhD guys to, on a Saturday morning, cooking Egg McMuffins with a 16-year-old. You know, the fascinating thing about the McDonald's training program is it can take a guy like me that started out with absolutely nothing in life and, and give you an opportunity to have an extraordinary career. A good friend of ours at that time uh, introduced me to Tammy, my wife, and she forever changed my life. Tammy challenged me. She said to me, I want to know if you're, if you know God, if you're a Christian, and are you saved? Well, I would have to say that probably one of the greatest things that Tammy could have ever done for Kevin is get him his spiritual life uh, on the right path. And in April of 1993, I became a Christian. Everything I have today, if you include my salvation, which is the most important part, was from the time I met my wife, Tammy. I believe that one person can make a big difference in Congress. As a small business owner, healthcare has been really tough, and we need to get on the board with removing a lot of regulations and figuring out how to keep our manufacturing jobs in this country. We should be building the border wall. I'm a strong pro-life supporter, and we need to pull back the curtains and expose what this debt is doing to our country. Economic freedom is really important for the American people. This is the opportunity for people to understand and realize what they can have, no matter where they came from and nobody knows that better than I do. He won't give up till they listen. I mean, they'll have to listen because he won't stop.